Good morning, good morning, good morning. Here we are again to bring you what's hot at Ibex. This is the next at Ibex year end special. I'm Nicole Conley from Ibex US. Welcome to the show. We're so excited to be celebrating the culmination of all the Ibex achievements over the past year. With me are my co-hosts from Ibex Jamaica, Ibex Pakistan, Ibex Philippines, Ibex Nicaragua, and the latest country to join the Ibex team, Ibex Honduras. Thank you so much. 2021 was an awesome year for all of us at Ibex. Rising from a challenging and difficult 2020, 2021 was the year where we hit the ground running. We didn't just survive, we tried. Perhaps the most apparent achievement for Ibex is its expansion for the past 12 months. Here to tell us more on expansion news is our co-anchor from Ibex Honduras. IBEX, despite being amidst the pandemic, has risen to new heights as it introduced eight new sites and other expansion initiatives in 2021. Kicking off in January, we'll launch the GTEC site in Jamaica. Other sites launched this year in Jamaica are the IBEX Grand and IBEX Ocho Rios 2. By February, the Elephant site in the Philippines opened its ninth floor space expansion. In August, we had two notable expansions with the launch of Jamaica's campus site while in the U.S. we unveiled a new site in Pittsburgh. However, the most momentous launch was our first site in our newest geo, Honduras. IBEX opened the Tegucigalpa site in September. With this new location, IBEX has further strengthened its grip in the region as a near-shore powerhouse. IBEX has proved to be successful despite the extreme challenges faced by many in the industry. The continued growth has further reinforced IBEX's position as a steadfast leader in the BPO world. For Resurgence News, this year has been a series of great achievements and awesome wins for IBEX. 2021 marked the most successful string of client launches and employee initiatives that reflect IBEX continued growth and success. The biggest highlight of 2021 at IBEX was Customer Service Week. Our theme this year was the power of service. Overall, we gave away over 10,000 US dollars in prizes during customer service week, which included gift cards, gift baskets, TVs, electronics, and much, much more. Our TikTok contest ended up giving away over $6,000 to winners in each region. And you know we love a good red carpet at Ibex, so we rolled out the red carpet during customer service week for over 20,000 employees across the globe. We had nine Zoom classes that raised awareness for lots of things from yoga to Zumba to even vision boarding. We also raised funds for UNICEF, Pricemart, and other worthy charitable causes. We also had a global trivia challenge on our social media pages that gave away prizes to over 30 winners. We crowned 60 site superstars across the globe from Jamaica to Nicaragua to the Philippines to Pakistan into the US. Next year we're excited to extend those site superstar winners to our newest family member Ibex Honduras. Meanwhile in other Ibex news we continue to celebrate new clients, campaign anniversaries as we grow our workforce. Our robust business development and client service teams are knocking out of the park as they continue to push IBEX forward as one of the leading proponents of digital CX and unparalleled customer service. Now for our excellent stories. In 2021, IBEX launched various reward and recognition programs to ensure that our employees' hard work and dedication are celebrated within the IBEX community. 2021 marks the creation of the Country Manager Award. CMA are awarded specifically to top performing team leaders, supervisors, and managers. At this time, CMA has been awarded to leaders in the Philippines, U.S., Nicaragua, and Jamaica. CMA has been spearheaded by IBEX Chief Operating Officer David Apto. In other excellent news, 2021 was the year where IBEX won another Best Company Award as it took another Great Place to Work Award. This marks the second time in a row IBEX Nicaragua has won such a prestigious award. 
making Ibex Nicaragua a true powerhouse in a New York Shore space. And finally, for our excellent story, we want to look back and congratulate our CMA awarding Vice President of Talent Acquisition, Lori Mix. The announcement was made back in September of 2021 by our CEO, Bob DeChen. Lori Mix has been with IBEX since April of 2018. Ever since, she has improved recruitment processes and raised the bar for talent acquisition. While 2021 has been a year of continued struggles, it has also shown us the tremendous impacts we can have on the community when we come together as a team. For our community news, IBEX mobilizes immediate donation drive for those devastated by Typhoon Odette in Bohol, Philippines. In December this year, Typhoon Odette ravaged the central regions of the Philippines, leaving many displaced, injured, and in need of desperate help. IBEX immediately mobilized Project Banghan Bahal to assist many of Bahal's employees and their family. The team raised over 2 million pesos as of writing. In other community news, IBEX has been actively promoting the benefits of COVID vaccination across all sites. IBEX Project IVAX in the Philippines has rolled out and has had consistently high employee turnout. The same can be said in the Nicaragua, where multiple COVID vaccination drives have been posted to ensure compliance with the team. In Jamaica, we had an amazing car raffle for vaccinated agents. From vaccination to ignition, Ibex Jamaica offered a brand new car as a raffle prize to fully vaccinated employees. The aim was to encourage them to join a three-day vaccination blitz on August 4th. Medical professionals from the Minister of Health and volunteers set up a vaccination station to administer COVID-19 shots to IBEX employees. And finally, still in Jamaica, our top story is IBEX Jamaica employees raising one million Jamaican dollar to help Charmonique Willis. The team through the IBEX Care umbrella decided to raise funds to purchase new fiberglass legs for Charmony. IBEX employees sold special t-shirts to raise funds and finally meet the target. I was really, really excited. I called my dad and said, Mom, we actually prayed and I even started to cry because a lot of workplace wouldn't actually have done that and to have IBEX do that for me. What's next for me, as everyone says, is the growth, like to grow more. Being here at IBEX for a very long time, I do hope that I keep elevating and go a bit further in the company. With regards to the legs, in the next three months, I should be good to go. Through everyone's cooperation and goodwill, the team is set to give Charmonique a check for one million Jamaican dollars for her new legs. An employee of IBEX spoke more, Charmonique was born with a birth defect that caused her to lose her legs at the age of two. As a result, Charmonique has been wearing prosthetics. Unfortunately, as her body grew up, wearing all prosthetics has since caused her serious pain when used. Thanks to this IBEX initiative, Charmonique has finally reached her goal of having a better and comfortable legs. Kudos to IBEX and congratulations to Charmonique. And now for our people news. 2021 is a special year of achievement for some of our employees' personal journeys. Our first story is a group of daring employees who traverse their way to the top of the world's second highest peak, the mighty K2. One of them brought his 10-year-old son who became an instant hero for becoming the youngest person to make it to the K2 base camp. Here's their video. Year, we were not able to achieve our goal due to COVID since there were a lot of travel restrictions and the tourism and all the industry was like uh, came to an halt. Prior to going for the K2 base camp, we were thinking it's going to be all green and there would be water streams. 
and all stuff like that but it was nothing of that sort the temperature was very cool it was like 10 kilometers till ali camp and uh, those 10 kilometers were the you know worst 10 kilometers of my life very exhausting but then uh, the achievement that you would be getting after climbing it kept uh, kept us going on in the united states one of our employees made his mark as a barbecue expert and used his talents to help his community learning more about this awesome barbecue chef and how he made a difference in helping the local community through his story we came out with what's called q for the blue it's a first responders charity to go forward over our success with my cooking competitions the q for the blue and i do another uh charity called feed the feed the line they allow me the time off to go do these things these are things that are in my heart for and then whenever i'm done with that cooking competition what transpires whenever i come in on monday exhausted but i'm still here at 9 o'clock in the morning that hey i'm getting nothing but high fives from my crew my uh, man manager and so forth because they got to cuz they let me succeed basically more in the people news we have two energetic and youthful ibex employees whose experience in a youth leadership seminar inspired them to make a difference check out their story Well, my name is Jia. I'm 22 years old and I'm currently studying media. That's what I do in IBIS. I teach her content and strategies and stuff like that. My name is Kanza and I'm 23 years old. I have done my bachelor's in public administration and I love marketing. I am an avid reader by day and passionate marketer at all times. <laughs> so at the Young Leaders Conference that we were a part of, I sort of had the opportunity to listen to people and get to know different people. More than 300 people from 99 different cities of Pakistan. So it was something really, you know, impactful because they all were from different backgrounds. They belonged from different cultures, different religions. So it was really empowering to meet such people. it was good to know their views about interfaith harmony about diversity and inclusion so it was amazing it's like such a big deal for us the fact that our own company is sponsoring us and enabling us to attend this really amazing conference to be able to meet so many people that all started with ibex the fact that you know we can sit at the same table as our ceo that's i'm allowed to express my opinions i am allowed to give ideas to them and we all are considered as equal the best part about ibex is that they don't really care about things that other organizations are looking at but they only care about your talent if you have the talent then you can be a part of ibex that's the best thing about ibex And finally, in the Philippines, Ibex Bohol partnered with Gugma Tekilbar, a charitable organization in helping 100 tricycle drivers in Tekilbar city. Tricycles are makeshift motorcycles with a side carriage that function as a cheap transportation in Bohol in many parts of the Philippines. Family groceries and hygiene kits were handed out to 100 tricycle drivers. Ibex reasserts its objective of being a strong supporter of the local community. And now we head to our engagement news. This 2021, Ibex conducted a series of global, local, and side initiatives dedicated to bolstering employee engagement. The team started off with Women of Ibex. A dedicated employee resource group focuses on the achievements of our women and their potential. Over the course of this year, Women of Ibex have set up various campaigns, competitions, and other programs to further their cause. As part of #IbexCares mission of promoting a healthier lifestyle and better mental health, Ibex held a global wellness week initiatives across all of its sites. From August 16 to 20, Ibex conducted multiple classes that supported health and wellness, from cultivating belonging to burnout recovery to caring for your mental health and even staying healthy while working from home. These classes tackled important topics to support employees. We also highlight Ibex Pakistan's celebration of Mango Day back to back with their Independence Day. Mango Day is a day dedicated to the delicious fruit that everyone loves. During this day, employees wore yellow and green and mangoes were distributed to everyone. Continuing the festivities, 
The employees celebrated in August 14, the 75th Independence Day of Pakistan. During this day, the team honors the sacrifices of the nation's forefathers in building the country. During the event, the national flag of Pakistan was raised in the IBEX building rooftop and employees sang the national anthem. 2021 was also the year that marked the launch of IBEX Breakfast Club. The show is an online podcast that covers various topics such as mental health, sports, millennial and Gen Z concerns, Halloween trends, and more. The IBEX Breakfast Club spanned eight episodes with its season finale in December featuring IBEX leaders. IBEX PH Country Manager Potsky Alvarez, IBEX SVP of Business Development Eric Hoffman, and IBEX VP of Operations Resi Kayabiaf. More Breakfast Club is set to show next year. And finally in the Philippines, IBEX One PH Employee Engagement Team brought to us the biggest and grandest online year-end event, IBEX Flex. This holiday extravaganza showcased various highlights such as site leader musical performances, wish upon wish granting programs, huge region-wide raffles, and of course, the annual talent showdown competition where all IBEX PH sites battle out with their amazing performances. As I seem to decay, the team had one of the country's top OPM bands, Ben and Ben, to perform. It was a fun-filled event celebrating our achievements and success this 2021. In closing, we would like to tell you how excited we are to end this year with you guys. We have IBEX CEO Bob Deckett to share a few words. Hi all, it's Bob coming to you from Northern Virginia. I want to take a moment to thank you all for all your hard work that you do each and every day. I appreciate all the sacrifices that you have done, especially, especially in these challenging times. But we are IBEX. We are the strongest. We are the best. And nothing, nothing stops us. I want to congratulate you all for all the great achievements you've attained. And you've actually enabled us not only to survive throughout this pandemic, but actually grow our business and actually thrive and outperform our competition. But again, nothing stops us. We are IBEX. So on behalf of my executive leadership team, we wanna say thank you and appreciate everything that you do for us. Thanks. Well, the biggest question for IBEX now is, what's next? What's next indeed? What's next for your family? What's next for your career? What's next for your passion? What's next for your dreams? And more than that, are you ready for what's next? Wow, that's so exciting. But that's all we got for now. From the United States, this is Nicole Conley, your next at IBEX Anchor, signing off for now. From Honduras, this is Fernando, your next at IBEX Anchor, now signing off. From the lovely place of Nicaragua, this is Jimena Mora, your next at IBEX Anchor. From Jamaica, this is Shoya Maglashin, your next at IBEX Anchor, signing off. From Pakistan, this is Michelle Qureshi, your next at IBEX Anchor, now signing off. From the Philippines, this is Erica, your next at IBEX Anchor, now signing off. See you once again on the next episode of Next at IBEX, coming to you guys really soon. Bye.